Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really thrilled to have all of you. We, we didn't think yesterday it was gonna be like this. We thought we were all gonna be hanging on to the tent poles for dear life, but thankfully the weather held out for us and we wanna thank you all for coming out. I will just mention before we get started, when we're done with the groundbreaking and you're on your way out, please stop and get some Kona ice to celebrate the day with us. <clears throat> I just wanted to say again, we really appreciate so many people coming out to celebrate with us. We're really, really excited to finally get underway the Starlight Center. It's going to be a unique facility, first of its kind in Fairfield County. We've been told and we've heard from our community that this is one thing we need. We need this to fill in the gaps in our continuum of care. And we need to have a 24 seven crisis stabilization center for people to fill that gap and keep people close to home so they don't have to go out of county for the services they need. This, as many of you know, the Adam Board was able to pass a levy in uh, late 2018 early, or in 2019, and one of our levy promises was to build this facility. We heard loud and clear from many stakeholders and many parts of the community that this was needed, and that was one of our mandates, one of our promises, and now we are following through on that, and we're very excited to do that. <clears throat> Some of you may have noticed and seen our new logo. We're really excited about the logo too. Uh, we love the ripple effect in the logo that you might notice. We like the symbolism of that. Really showing that one small kind act, one act of support can have ripple effects to really impact a person and a community in a positive way. And we really hope the Starlight Center is gonna do that for Fairfield County, to be that positive influence, that positive impact on our mental health and uh, our well-being in Fairfield County. So thank you all. I want to say that really happy to see all of our elected officials and our county representatives and city representatives here. Thank you. Many of our other organizations that are partners in care are here. Thank you for being here. And we have several key stakeholders that have been helping us all along the way with this center that are going to come up and say a few words. Um, I'd also like to recognize our construction company, WAI Construction Group. Not only are they doing a fantastic job for us, they went out of their way to prepare this place and for this event today. So thank you very much to Gordon and his whole crew. Thank you. <clears throat> our architecture firm is TC Architects. I don't believe any of them are here today, but they also have been a partner in this whole process and really held our hand through the ups and downs from day one. So they've done a fantastic job as well. So I'd like to first welcome Mayor Dave Scheffler to uh, the podium to say a few words. We really appreciate his support and him being here. Well, thank you, Marcy and the Adam H. board members and everybody in the community that's here to recognize uh, this important development for the community. It's truly amazing, uh, first of all, because I never thought I'd be wearing sunglasses this afternoon. And secondly, I walked by here Tuesday evening and they were grading this pad. Uh, it's amazing the progress uh, that's happened in, in less than 48 hours. So, uh, and, and we hope to see that quicker progress going forward. Uh, I'd like to commend Adam H. for recognizing that healthy lives are the foundation of healthy communities and it, an organization can make a difference in achieving that status. We have experienced how substance abuse and, and mental health issues have impacted our families and it's not something that we can ignore. We needed an approach that provided immediate comprehensive help to those who may be struggling. Sometimes you can't wait for some long period of time for an appointment. And that's what the Starlight Center is going to bring, 24-7 care to those who need it most. So with that, I'd like to introduce Commissioner Jeff Fix for some remarks. Thanks, Mayor Scheffler, uh, Marcy, Jonathan McCombs, the Adam board that's here today. Uh, really appreciate you having Commissioner Levesey and I out. Um, going to go off script a bit here and tell you that the Adam Board has been a passion of mine for a number of years. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of, of, of during my time as a county commissioner is how we've helped reshape the board and the leadership team at Adam H. Uh, the Starlight Center that we're celebrating here today is a great example of how a passionate board of directors 
and really focused visionary leadership can come together to make great things happen. It's also a great example of how we follow through on our promise to the voters. When the levy to fund this facility was passed by our constituents in 2019, the promise was the funds generated by this levy would be used to build a facility just like this. Today we live up to that commitment. The Starlight Center will make a significant positive impact on the lives of all of our residents by helping those who need it the most. We're most fortunate to have community leaders and partners all coming together to make this happen to build a healthier future for everyone. Thank you, Marcy, Jonathan, members of the Adam Board, and everyone involved for making this happen. It's now my pleasure to introduce representatives from our law enforcement community, Sheriff Alex Lape and Police Chief Nick Snyder. Good afternoon. We appreciate the invitation to participate in this event today. Uh, recently, I read a quote that said, if you take the I out of illness and add we, you get wellness. And this is a great illustration of, of the we and wellness that could be achieved. But in our positions, our job is to protect and serve all members of our community. Uh, over the past few years, we've seen a tremendous uptick in mental health related and substance use related calls for service. So, thank you. Thank you for coming out today. Uh, definitely thank you to all the officials that made this possible. Mostly thank you to whoever made the decision to bring Kona ice. <laughs> I need to get out there after this. So, anyway, I'll make this quick. Um, in law enforcement, we have to wear a lot of hats, I'll do a lot of different jobs, and that can be a really cool thing, but in our profession, there's a growing frustration with that for sure. We are neither fully equipped or fully trained to handle a lot of the issues that the Starlight Center is gonna take care of for us. And while I believe Sheriff Lape and I have the best law enforcement officers in the country working for us, this is just an added benefit. To have uh, nurse practitioners, counselors, clinicians, all available in one place, that's pretty progressive in my opinion. That's things that we need to keep uh, clipping at as a community together. So. It is a benefit to our community, but I think oftentimes people forget this is a benefit to our law enforcement agencies. We've just not had this tool really forever, and so this is a big deal for us. So on behalf of the law enforcement community, thank you to the uh, Starlight Center. Thank you to the stakeholders for making this happen, and we appreciate everything that you do. Look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Emily Clegg. She is our regional coordinator from the Office of Community Planning and Collaboration with the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. And we certainly thank them for all their support and help in getting this facility and this programming ready to go. It's been a minute since I've had to do any public speaking, so bear with me. I have this all written down. So, um, Good afternoon. My name is Emily Clegg. I'm the Regional Coordinator for Southeast Ohio. Um, I am here on behalf of Lori Chris, the Director of the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. I want to thank you for extending the opportunity for the department to join you in this joyous celebration. The work that has been underway for this project will result in a greater access to much needed resources to the citizens of this community. Thank you for all the partners who have made this possible and also thank you for including us in the groundbreaking ceremony. This is a really amazing accomplishment, so thank you. See, this is moving really quick. Plenty of time for Kona Ice after this. I'd now like to welcome up uh, Megan Golden, and following her will be Amanda Wattenberg. Megan is representing New Horizons Mental Health Services, who will provide the mental health services at the Starlight Center. And Amanda will be representing Ohio Guidestone, who will be providing the substance use services. Thrilled to have both these strong agencies and strong partners join us. They have a long history of these services, and this will give them a continuation uh, into a new facility. Thank you, Marcy. Good afternoon, guys. Thank you all for being here, braving the weather. Thankfully, it's holding off. My name is Megan Golden. I'm the Chief Communication Officer for New Horizons Mental Health Agency here in town. 
Um, New Horizons has provided crisis services to the community for several years now. We're very proud and so excited to expand our services with the Starlight, which will offer eight respite beds um, and a higher level of care for our folks in the community who need it and allow them to stay here at home, here in Fairfield County, close to their loved ones. New Horizons... We are committed to providing the best service possible to our clients, our stakeholders, and our partners. We're excited to partner with Ohio Guidestones and for our continued partnership with Adam H. We look forward to the positive impact the Starlight will have on individuals within our community. And with that, I give you Amanda Wattenberg. I think I'm the shortest speaker today, so <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see me. Thank you, Megan. I'm Amanda Wattenberg, and I head Ohio Guidestones Central Region. Ohio Guidestone is proud to be managing the substance use services at Starlight, where we will offer those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction assistance that will lead them on the path to recovery. The 12 bed substance use disorder unit at the Starlight Center is a refuge for people working towards sobriety. Ohio Guidestone has been helping Ohioans since 1864, and we have a proven track record of helping people live better, healthier, and more productive lives. We are honored to be working with the great partners represented here today. We are grateful to be part of this exceptional facility and help bring people out of addiction and on the path to a better life. Thank you. And our final speaker today is Dr. Jonathan McCombs. He's the chair of our Adam board and has been instrumental for the last few years helping us get this project up off the ground and to construction. Thank you, Marcy. Um, you might notice my southern accent. I've been here 12 years, but I can't get away from that, so excuse that. But um, I want to say, the, first of all, this is because of the voters. As I think Marcy talked about, they voted for a levy that made this possible, and that really is the primary focus here. The voters helped us do this for this community. But there's also a group of folks that have made this possible with the board staff, uh, Joe Sidon has been on the board as long as anybody that's on the board and helped to make this possible. There's many other people, the agencies. I want to thank each and every one of them for their contribution to this. Um, and going forward, it will take a collaboration, and we're committed to that with every one of the folks represented here today, law enforcement, uh, health care, all of those folks, so that we provide the type of care that our community needs and we're really excited i can tell you that when we voted to do this every one of the board members was uh excited about the possibility of making this happen and every one of them have contributed to this so i want to thank you for coming and i'll be brief but uh thank you for the uh, ability to make this happen thank you dr mccombs thank you all it's now time to break ground <laughs> So if our speakers will come forward, we will take the first shuffle full.